Hello and welcome to the Shadowcast. We host Thomas Anderson and Abigail Mutt. Welcome back. Welcome back. How long have we have? How long? How long have we been doing this for? Was it three years? Two years? I think it's been since the beginning of the empire. <laughs> and I've yet to actually come up with a good, like other the something Roman else empire. other than welcome back. Hey, mm. you guys! I was productive today. Did some artwork. Went to garden center. Went to gym. Who's gym? Z gym. The gym. I went to the gym. What what have you been doing? Well, I was going to be playing a shady part of me and also Watch Dogs simultaneously. But I thought I've not actually played Stitch Shady Side of Me for quite a while. Wow. That sounded really wow. weird. Oh, that sounded really weird the way I said it. So I actually went back to it yesterday. But it felt like it was starting to wrap up. So I just kind of kept playing that. And I played a little bit more today and I've not wrapped it up yet. But it feels like it's getting to the the stage where it's right. almost finished. I genuinely think there's only like about 10 minutes left of it. Right, okay. And then I'll get on to watch Dugs. Mm-hmm. Watch Dugs. Watch Dugs. But I'm really enjoying it. Shady part of me. They've in, they've now introduced more complex movements in the game. So before okay. with the shadow, the shadow girl, remember I was telling you that she can only uh, walk on the actual shadow and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, now they've created it so that she can also walk like on the ceiling bit. Right, okay. Is it possible that... Is that a new power or is it just they've started to add in the ceilings? No, it's a new power that they've kind of added in. Is it possible that that's something to do with those... Is it flowers you said you'd been picking up but you hadn't got them no, all? No, birds. Birds. Is it possible that that's part of that? You go back and get the birds? No, it's not that. I think it's just to make the game more interesting. Like, I think, I think that... From what I've been able to suss out with the story, I think the reason it's become more complex is because the characters have become more complex. Excuse me. <clears throat> the characters have become more complex. So right, like I'm, the- I'm asking you if, if it's possible that you could take that power back into previous areas to look for... No, you without- can't actually. You can't go back. Okay. Maybe there's a new game plus where you go into the game with all of the abilities. Quite possibly. I don't know, but... I thought I had kind of sussed out the story a little bit because I think I spoke before about how I didn't know if the shadow was the older version of the little girl and she was talking to her past self. Now I think it's something a bit different. Well, for a while it seemed like it was a bit different, like maybe it was mother and daughter. Okay. And now I'm... But they have them talking at the same time sometimes, so now I'm starting to think, oh, maybe it is one person. And I think that maybe they are. There's like a third voice, which is a male voice, and I'm st- and I'm guessing that's the therapist. Because I've only just noticed at the top it said session number, blah 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 blah. Right. So that so instead of missions, it's sessions. Yeah, which makes oh, which no. does play into the idea that possibly it's uh like a counselor's office, and maybe this is inside somebody's head, or maybe it's in two people's heads. I don't know, but. I like the complex. The complexity is actually really interesting. It's it's also picking up pace now. Right. Areas are going a lot quicker. In my in my opinion, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just moving faster because I'm kind of used to the dynamics and used to the kind of atmosphere, not atmosphere, the dynamics of how to play the levels. Yeah. So maybe I'm just moving through it faster, but it it definitely feels like it's going a lot quicker. Hence why I thought that maybe it was wrapping up soon, like quite quickly do you reckon next week you'll be able to tell us exactly what you think of the whole thing yeah because i think that if i play a little bit more tonight i think that'll be it finished okay which i'm looking forward to i'm I, i'm looking forward to finding out what i'd actually i'm hoping they actually tell you you see if they leave leave it a bit ambiguous i'm i hate it when they do that i hate i hate ambiguous endings i hate it when it's ambiguous when they don't give you the evidence required to work it out no or i just the ambiguous ha- ending is is there to make you think it could have gone either way and you decide i don't mind ambiguous as in somebody can work it out and then everybody agrees that was the end i hate it when it's oh it's up to you no i'm here to hear a story to play a story to watch a story not to write one it annoys me yeah but i like the new kind of kind of like powers like i was saying that they've made it so that the character can basically walk up walls walk up the shadow walls and things like this. Are there any other ones? Not really. The little girl still can't go in light. 
she she's um, afraid of it. Oh no, uh, I lie. Uh, Shadow Girl can now possess the body of little robot things. There's like these little cardboard robot things that wander around the game sometimes. And they've always been in the background that you've never been able to interact with them. And now she can possess the body. And then you can right. unpossess it at certain points. Which is one of the reasons why I'm stuck. Because when you unpossess the body at this specific level, at this specific point on this level, you're supposed to fall and you attach yourself to a ledge. And it's not doing that. It's falling to a different ledge. So therefore, I'm not actually able to complete the level. But I don't know if that maybe that's just a glitch. So I'm thinking, if hopefully, if I go back in, it'll fix itself. Because otherwise, I don't yeah. actually know how to finish it. That sounds like it's just a glitch. And once you load it back up, it'll be fine. Hopefully. Because otherwise, the little like girl's going to be stuck somewhere for a very long time. The but game is actually real. And you're, without your help, she can't get through. There is... There are some aspects of the game which I have still found annoying. The fact that the shadow girl, for lack of a better phrase, explodes when she touches shadow brambles. So it like it goes poof. Oh, okay. Which is very okay. annoying. And also... Yeah. Sort of like uh, walking into a laser grid or something like that. Just poof. A little bit, yeah. But you're able to rewind it. So it's a bit like... Um, so it doesn't reset it, it rewinds it. You can rewind it. So if you ever... Ah. There's a game out... Uh, I've spoken about it quite a fair bit. Life is Strange. That's a game about... Like, it's it's not spoiling it, but it literally happens within, like... Oh, just... just No, no, just focus in on what you're telling us about this rewind. Well, I was trying to explain what it's like. Well, but don't so use Life is Strange. Okay, well, it, basically, right trigger, re, you can effectively rewind time in this game so like a racing game i don't understand that you've played a couple that have it in there uh the f1 for example you should have it as should uh, forza what? 6 you mean you like why i think it is to re and it rewinds mm -hmm. it doesn't do it on multiplayer but on single player you can hit a rewind and it will rewind the last section that you did i didn't know it could do that so that if you make a mistake you just go boop mm. go I again i didn't know you could do that well so yeah, so you're able to rewind, which is really good. The only downside. Watch, oh, sorry. Do you watch them go backwards? Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Like it's properly you are watching everything, uh, rewind itself. So it's it's really frustrating when you have to rewind quite a bit because if you make such a guff that it's it requires you going quite far back, that's really annoying. But other than that, it's. It's really good. At least you don't like die and have to restart an entire section all over again. Because it's the same if the little girl ends up in in daylight. It does. It prompts you to rewind it. Right. It doesn't let you continue. No. Right. But one of the characters is either dead or traumatized or something. I don't know. But. But it sounds like you're close to the end, and we'll have a there was, result, as it were. There was a moment which, I it only happened once, and it. And it made me question what... This is the reason why it, start, it started making me question what I was actually watching the dynamic between the shadow girl and the little girl. Because there was a moment where a fourth voice popped up. But only, I think, once... It only said one or two words. And it was not an, another older woman's voice. So that kind of made me think about a mother-daughter relationship. Like, maybe she's trying to reconcile the past to get a relationship with her daughter or something like this. It's difficult to be going beyond just positing the possibilities. There's nothing really to do except play it. Yeah, which is kind of fun. I'm not going to lie, it is kind of fun. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing and hopefully by next week I will have the outcome for for everybody you, and for myself. You won't tell us what happens. I'll let... How about I let you know if there's a definite ending? Yeah, let us know if it does a cliffhanger or not. Yeah, will do. That's fine. So what is your... Is it on Game Pass or is it something you own? It's something I bought, but it was on sale for five ninety nine. I don't actually know how much it is otherwise. Okay. I can look fine. it up. Okay, so I've just had a quick look at the price and you can get it on like multiple platforms. I had a look at st on Steam, it was twelve ninety nine, and on Xbox, it was eleven ninety nine, and I bought it when I was on sale for five ninety nine. So you'll be able to give us a verdict whether or not it's worth those prices or what you paid when it was on sale. Once you've finished it. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, it only came out in December 2020. So I definitely... If you got a spare 
Twelve yeah, quid. I'm, you can't really tell us until you've finished it, though. Okay. Because you, you said yourself that it ends in a cliffhanger. You'll just be really annoyed. Mm. So. I think the quality story is very good for. It. But yeah, then I, again, <laughs> you don't know because you don't know if it finishes in a cliffhanger. Or I not. genuinely, when I started playing this, I thought I thought I had downloaded well, uh, a demo. I forgot I had actually bought it. But that's what I has been the playings. What has you been the playings? I've been doing dissertation mostly, so I haven't actually played much this week. Next week will be different, I think, but focusing on my dissertation this week. And I think that I played a bit of Rome Total War 2, in which I've been frankly winning battles I don't think I have any right to win. <laughs> you know, like fights where I've got 10% chance of victory. And I annihilate the opposition. I am so Those good, are... it's not even a it's not even a challenge anymore. Well, it is a challenge, but it, it's more of a tactical one. Because once I get the setting up right, and then I know when to do certain things, I get it right. Like, I fought an army that was four times the size of mine. And I won simply because I used my plebs properly. They're just the, like, peasant infantry that aren't very good. But I got them round behind their uh, missile units. Yeah. And so in one instance in that particular battle I'm talking about, they charged and it along with the heavy infantry hitting the front and got this huge chunk of this army caught in between and they just routed. And then I marched the heavy infantry and the uh plebs around this so it was in a city fight. Uh I marched them down an a uh, a road coming round a building. And I had another set of heavy infantry that was fighting another fight. And so I, I used this part of the army to basically envelop. I, I flanked them twice. But because the heavy infantry moved very slowly, I just ran the plebs around to draw all the fire of the missile units. I'm just imagining just like these... Because I think this is the game that you showed us on uh, the channel a while ago, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. All I can just imagine is just those like CG characters just running around in circles going, ah! Yeah. And so they drew all the fire and they got wiped out entirely, but they drew all the fire until the heavy infantry was in position. Very heavy infantry, sorry. And so they then caught the missile units, wiped them out and then just charged into the back of what was left of the infantry for the enemy army and they just wiped them out. There was another fight I had where I used my plebs to pin the medium armour spearmen, a medium infantry spearmen in position multiple times for different units in the same fight because yeah. they just sent in units one or two at a time while the ranged units I had were on the opposite side of the town square and so we're firing into the backs the unarmoured backs of the enemy spearmen is that unethical no. or unwar war 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 etiquette -y? a flanking manoeuvre is perfectly valid they weren't retreating when I was shooting at them they were fighting oh. they were just facing the other way okay so they were firing into the backs and wiped them all out and that happened three or four times oh, well i've been done. winning fights where the the bar is, is either 40 percent or all the way down to five or ten percent likely for me to win so i actually have compared with the vast array of enemies i'm fighting i think i've got four armies but i only built one of those recently most of the time what i do is just draw them into attacking my settlements um even the unwalled ones and just using the stored garrison yeah until I I just use that as a holding manoeuvre while I march one army around. <laughs> so I've got one in Spain, I've got one in sort of Libya, Tunisia sort of area, and I've got one up in what would be Francie, Germany. Did you say um, Francie? Yeah, Francie, Francie Germany, Germany, maybe Francie Switzerland. Um, and I built a new, another one in, in uh, Spain, just to speed that process up. How long have you actually had this game for? Like, how long have you been playing it for? 160 hours i think it was whoa that's one camp one main campaign and this is the octavian campaign or something like that where the empire split after julius kaiser died these are names to it, me i do not know them he's usually incorrectly called caesar is this the guy that had the affair with uh what's her face cleopatra no that's mark antony well yes he did but he did have an affair sorry but it was it wasn't an affair it was a well he was married marriage. though yeah, well, he had another one for political purposes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. He's the guy that Rex Harrison played in the movie Cleopatra. Uh, you have to tell Julius me. Julius Caesar. I'm trying to make yeah, a reference okay. to the fact that I know old movies. 
the laurel wreath. Yes. Have you never seen Cleopatra? Mm. It's like about four hours long. No, I haven't seen it. No. It was. It is one of the worst. It's not. It's not one. Of the, no. How to how to describe it? It is it, it one of the biggest flops in all history, movie history. But it's an amazing movie. It is it is a work of art, in my opinion. It is a beautiful movie. Elizabeth Taylor as Cleopatra. What that guy who she married twice is Mark Antony. Can't remember his name, but and then Rex Harrison as Julius Caesar. Rex Harrison was Doctor Doolittle. Give me a second. I can't remember his name now either. Hold on. Burton. M. Burton. Yeah. It was Richard Burton. Richard Burton. It was also it was such an incredibly expensive movie to make because they basically had to reshoot a lot of stuff because for some reason they thought that they could use Elmwood Studio. I think it was Elmwood Studios in in London as a or wherever Elmwood is as a as a replica of of uh, Egypt, forgetting it rains a lot. I think the sets got destroyed because it was so much rain. Where? El- Elmwood Studios. Pinewood right, Studios. Okay. Pinewood Studios. Sorry, I don't know why I said Elmwood. Oh, God, here we go. I have to go through a list of her 700 husbands. But yeah, Richard Burton. It's a weird movie, but it's very good. I, it, it takes me at least... I can never watch it all the way through. I have to take breaks. I watch half of it one day and I watch half of it the next day. Or I break it up into threes. Because it's a very long movie. Right. And they cut out... A, I think they cut like two hours out of it. And it was still ended up being over three hours long or something. Okay, I never thought that. I thought she she married... Like, he married her in 64 and then married her again in 75. There was nobody in between. Well, so in 64, she was that the when they met on Cleopatra? Because I think that's how they met. Mm-hmm. Yeah, would have been then. But... She's a beautiful woman. The second marriage was like nothing. Eh, that's weird. I remember when her jewellery collection went up for sale. God, she had absolutely gorgeous pieces. Marriages don't last, but diamonds do. <laughs> Put that on my tombstone. <laughs> right. What were we talking about? We were talking. You were talking about total Empire, total war. Yeah. So and this I is the one in which, you. after Caesar Caesar gets killed, the empire splits into four. Um, I went Octavian Rome, which I think, yeah, I think he was the winner in the long run. It's Pompey, Lepidius, and Mark Antony. Was Pompey his nephew or something? Who? Pom- Pompey, Pompey. Was that not his? No, I think your to Octavian was Caesar's nephew. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 I yeah. think. I mean, Le- Pompey might have been Pompey's nephew, but I think it was Pompey's son. I don't know history all that well. Mark Antony was Julius Caesar's like right hand man for a while. No, I know that. And Lepidius was just um, some guy because I've never heard of him before. But anyway, so this is an extra campaign that's in the game that I've started. So I've not played the game more than once through. I thought you had played it a lot more than that. No, nah. I played Rome Total War a lot, but not Rome Total War Two. Right, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of then. Anyway, oh right, sorry, but I'm in, uh, I'm in, I'm enjoying it. It's giving me something to think about other than the work I've got to do when I'm doing it. So yeah, but I'm enjoying it. But that's good. Yeah, it was bad when it first came out, from what I heard. But I've been enjoying it recently. But I still think that one of the things they definitely did was they nerfed the cavalry back around about. I'd go as far as to say Rome, uh, Rome Total War to Medieval Total War Two. They nerfed the cavalry quite strongly. What does that mean? They they weakened them a lot. Okay. Cavalry is nowhere near as powerful. If you take a unit of heavy cavalry and charge them straight to a unit of heavy infantry, I think you might win with the cavalry, but you'll take a lot of damage. And if there's a second unit of infantry there to help, you'll definitely lose. But I still think, I think you would be able to hold against the cavalry if you were prepared properly. Cool. Um, Whereas in the old games, the cavalry would just annihilate everything in front of them. It's, It's about how much of a charge... And once the charge is over, the infantry starts to win. Yeah. Because the cavalry aren't moving. Because the initial charge is still very powerful. But in the old games, it was really powerful. And then the cavalry was still better. I think it would be about Rome Total War. I think they changed it when they went to Medieval Total War. Okay. Do you recommend other people play it? There's a lot more recent Total War games than that. This is the most recent one I have. But if you've got it and you haven't played it yet, I'd say play it. But you'll need to put time into it. 
a full campaign will take you 100 hours, I think. So you need to put time in. Yeah. But I've been enjoying it. And it's just the same as the, as before. I've spoken about it before, about all the different things that you can do and have to do and pay attention to and all the rest of it. And it's just the same as that. It, it gives you a lot of political options, but doesn't really explain them a lot. And you'd, I don't really see the benefit of them. But there's a lot of downsides. So I sort of just try and make do as I go. And if there's a civil war and there's an uprising and I have to go and retake places, that's annoying, but I've got to do it. Oh my god, they're uprising again. Out I need to go again. Right, you, 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 plebs, go. Well, it's more go. of a revolution when a, one political family decides to split from the empire and call itself the real empire. Oh. And then you've got to go and retake half your empire. and It's, it's tedious, frankly. We cannot be called the empire. We shall be called the real empire. We will be called the real, real, real empire. We will be called the ultimate empire. We are ulti- We are ultimate empire infinity. You cannot beat that. <laughs> ultimate, ultimate infinity empire. plus one. <laughs> plus I. <laughs> Did you ever do that when you were a kid? It's like infinity plus, plus one. Plus, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Infinitus so that is plus one is impossible at us. So that's all but, you have um, for us today. Yeah. That's just what I've been doing. I'll be playing a lot more this week, but that's all I've done so far. Cool. Can't think of anything else anyway. No, I played a bit of Halo Five online, but just just something to do to take Distract my mind off yourself. stuff. That's all. Yeah, that's it. That's all I've done. Nice. Well, if you want to come back and hear what I thought of sh- sh- Shadow Part of Me, Shady Part of Me, you can always come back next week if you want. Please, pretty please, pretty pretty please. The caffeine has hit. Mm-hmm. Caffeine has it. You can like the video, you can subscribe to the channel, you can hit the notification bell for when we upload, you can hit the share button, that'd be absolutely fantastic. You can leave a comment down below if you want. Uh, let us know what you think. If, are you playing Shady's Part of Me? Are you playing Empire Total War Rome 2 thing? Rome Total War 2. Yes. Tell us what you think, leave it in the comments down below, but no spoilers. This is spoiler free zone. You- I don't think you can spoil a Total War game. I'm talking about Shady Part of Me. All right, okay. Thank you. Or you can email us at overshadow.shadowcast at gmail.com. All that information will be left in the description box down below. So really, that's all from myself, my good self and your good self. So this good self will say thank you for listening and good night. I will also say that. Good night. Bye bye. Oh, not good night. Goodbye. Well, for me, it's good night. <laughs> For me, it's good. No, it's not. It's goodbye. <laughs> we shall compromise and we'll just say good. No, because if somebody listens it during the day, that's just going to freak them out. Good. I'm still sitting there saying, I'll tuck you up into bed now. <laughs> it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. Back to bed Well, now. some people go to bed at 11 o'clock in the morning, people who work the night shift. I think if you work the night shift, you're already asleep by then, aren't you? You don't know what time they come in. They might want to have some dinner. They want to chill out, listen to this. I think you're exhausted if you work the night shift, to be honest, but okay, fair enough. (laughs) Good night, then. Sleep tight. (laughs) Goodbye. Bye-bye.